Before we start with our lesson, let us bow our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. Sama-sama tayong manalangin ng Ama namin. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka. Sambahin ang alan mo. Mapasa amin ang kaharian mo. Sundin ang loob mo. Dito sa lupa para ng salangit. Bigyan mo po kami ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw. At patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga kasalanan para ng pagpapatawad namin sa mga nagkakasala sa amin. Huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masasama. Amen. Good morning, class! I hope you're doing great today! Ako ay natutuwa dahil nakasama ko kayo sa isang maikling panalangin, sa isang simpleng umagahan, at sana ay mabusog ko rin ang inyong kaisipan sa ating aralin. Do you still remember? That is the title of the first activity today. Yes, you are correct. We are going to review our previous lesson. And I want to find out if you still remember it. Directions. Analyze the statements I will flash. Does the meaning match the word? Show me a thumb up if it is correct. And a thumb down if it is not. Did you understand the directions? Are you sure? So let's get started. You only have five seconds for each item. Good luck! An instrument used or work by hand to perform a task. Is it a tool? And the answer is, very good. Your answer is correct. Number two consists of the things such as machines which are used for particular purpose. Is it material? The answer is, that is correct. This is not material because it should be equipment. Very good. And number three, the matter from which a thing is or can be made of, is it a device? And the correct answer is, very good, your answer is correct. It should be, yes, material. You are doing a good job. My dear students, let us be mindful of the things we should do every day, especially in this time of pandemic. We should remember the health protocols to keep our body safe. Wear face mask and face shield. Make it a habit to wash your hands with soap and clean water. And observe social distancing. Practicing health protocols can shield us from the COVID virus. Aside from following health protocols, we should have simple exercises even at home to keep our body healthy and strong. In our next activity, I will show you how. The title of this activity is Walk Me Tools You. Directions Choose the tools the workers need for their jobs. What is his job? What are the tools he need to do his job? That is correct. He is a farmer. And 
these are the tools he need to do his job. What is his job? What are the tools he need to do his job? Very good. He is a carpenter. And the carpenter needs this tool to do his job. While these are the tools that a draftsman need to do his job. Do you know what is the job of this man? What are the tools he need in his job? I am glad that you know the job of this man. When it comes to electrical appliances and wirings, we need an electrician. And to do his job well, he needs these tools. Who needs these tools to do his job? That is correct. The sower needs these tools to do his job. After recognizing the tools needed by the workers for their jobs, what do you think is our lesson for today? Our lesson for today is about the different sewing tools and their uses. Are you familiar with the tools in the picture? In this lesson, you will learn the group of sewing tools based on their uses. Content standards. The learner demonstrates understanding in the use of sewing tools in dressmaking. Performance standards. The learner independently uses tools in dressmaking or tailoring. Most essential learning competencies. Learning outcome number one. Identify sewing tools and equipment and their uses. 1.1. Identify sewing tools and equipment. Before we start with our discussion, let us have first these words which you may find difficulty in our lesson. Let's do this activity entitled, Be My Guess. Directions. I will show you the meaning of the words you may find difficulty in our lesson. Try to guess the word by using the letter grids with given clues. Did you understand the task? If yes, let's start. Is the activity of making or mending clothes or other things using a needle and thread? What is it? Very good. This is sewing. Look at the letter grids. We have R and D. And the meaning is, is used in assembling or constructing the parts of the garment. These vary in sizes and colors. What is it? Thread. Very good. How about this one? Is the cloth used in making garments? They come in different colors, textures, and types. Very good. The answer is fabric. Next, double or multiple fold in a garment or other item made of cloth held by stitching the top or side. Second letter is L and the fifth letter is T. What is the word? Nice guess. The answer is pleats. And the last, folds made on fabric and sewn in place made to contain the fullness of fabric or as a decorative element. What is it? It's a five-letter word. It has U and K. 
Can you guess it? This picture might help you in guessing the word. Excellent! The last word is tux. You are doing a good job! Keep it up! In our next activity, let us find out your cooperation and teamwork. Sewing tools are classified or grouped according to their uses. These are your respective groupings. You will accomplish the task in the GC I created for your groups. For more information about this group activity, check this out. Group number one, make a graphic organizer on a short band paper of the measuring tools used in sewing. You have five minutes to finish the task. Take a clear picture of your output and post it in your GC. Group number two. Do you have cutting tools like scissors and shears in your house? Take pictures of these tools and label them, then post them in your group's GC. You have five minutes to, uh, to finish the task. Group number three. Using your browser, search for the marking tools used in sewing. Take some screenshots of the tools you searched, then post them in your group's GC. You have five minutes to finish the task. For group number four, enumerate the pinning and sewing tools. Share your idea on how to secure these tools. Use the voice recorder in your GC to share your answer. You have five minutes to finish the task. This is the rubric I will use in assessing the performance of your group. I will post this in your GC so you can see it well. Here are the tools used in sewing. Sewing tools are the different tools used in garment production. The skillful use of this will help the body measurement and draft pattern with accuracy and speed. This lesson will provide knowledge of the different tools which are necessary in sewing. Let us start with the measuring tools. Are you familiar with measuring tools? Where do we use the measuring tools? Very good. Your ideas are correct. These are tools used to take account of quantitative data like length, width, height, circumference, etc. What measuring tool is this? Very good. This is a tape measure. This is a flexible measuring device used in taking body measurements. Tape measure has two faces. The front has the measurement of 150 centimeters and 60 inches on the other side. Are you familiar with this measuring tool? Have you used this kind of tool? This is a sewing gauge. This is a small ruler with a sliding guide and is about 6 inches long. It is used for measurements at hemlines, buttonholes, and areas where other small measurements require checking, such as pleats and tucks. Sewing gauge is usually made with metal or plastic. This tool is used when measuring 12 inches or even 18 inches. Do you know what measuring tool it is? Very good, that is correct. It is a ruler. It is a useful tool to have for measuring and drawing straight seam lines 
and cutting lines. It also aids in connecting lines. A clear ruler is also a good tool for marking buttonholes. How about this tool in the picture? Are you familiar with this? Very good! Indeed, it is a yardstick. A yardstick can be made of a smooth shellac hardwood, metal, or even plastic. It is used for making hemlines and checking grain lines when laying out the pattern. Have you seen an L square? In dressmaking, this is the L square used. The Taylor square or the L square is used to transfer measurements to the draft pattern. It also divides the garment into the desired measurement. It has perfect square and is useful in making straight, vertical, and horizontal lines. L square has two arms connected perpendicularly. The long arm is 24 inches long, while the shorter arm is 14 inches long. What if the sewer needs to measure curved lines like that in the neckline or in the armhole? What tool should be used? Yes, the sewer needs to use this tool. Do you know what this tool is? Correct! This is a French curve. This is used to shape the depth of the neck hole and the arm hole in the pattern. Look closely at this picture. What tool can you see in the picture? This tool resembles the shape of the curve of the hip of the human body. What tool is it? Correct! This is a hip curve. This tool is used in connecting and shaping curve points. Our next group of tools are what we called cutting tools. They are instruments that serve well if properly maintained. Sharp cutting tools make clean cuts and well-defined notches and they do not damage fabric. On the other hand, dull tools slow cutting process and make the hand and wrist tire easily. Always remember not to use sewing cutting tools in other household tasks. Another thing, Cutting tools must be sharpened regularly and the joints are oiled occasionally for better use. So if you want to make your cutting tools last longer, always remember these tips when using cutting tools. Now let's move on to the different cutting tools used in sewing. Are you familiar with bent handle dressmaker shears? So if you are thinking about these scissors, you guessed it right. This is the bent handle dressmaker shears. The best type of these scissors is made of quality steel and hold a sharp cutting edge. The blades move easily and cut smoothly along the entire length. Shears have the length of 7 to 12 inches and are satisfactory for most apparel fabrics. Have you seen this kind of scissors? Have you experienced using this when cutting a fabric? These scissors will leave a mark like this when cutting a fabric. This scissors is called pinking shears. This is popular in zigzagging or scalloped edge or for 
seam finishes. This is used to finish seams and draw edges and to create decorative edges on many types of fabric. It cuts a ravel resistance edge. Look at the material being cut in the picture. Yes, it is leather. It is much thicker and more difficult to cut than ordinary fabric. What cutting tool should be used to cut leather better? Very good. This is the leather shears. These are used for cutting leather and suede. Leather with a flash side rubbed to make a variety of nap. These shears have heavy serrated edge. How about the sewing cutting tool? Are you familiar with this? Have you used this kind of tool? Yes, that is correct. This is a thread clipper. So if you want to cut excess threads on sewn fabric or dress, you can use a thread clippers. Thread clippers are handy little spring-loaded cutting tool that allows for the snipping of threads. Remember this. These clippers are specifically used to snip or cut threads and they are not designed to cut fabric. Nowadays, this is the thread clipper used. Um, what sewing cutting tool should you use if you want to remove the incorrect stitches made on fabric? Can you use the big scissors or shears for this purpose? Look at this very short video clip. What sewing cutting tool is used in the video? That is correct. This is a seam reaper. Seam reapers are specifically designed for reaping out stitches from seams, either as a result of an error or during alterations. So if you need to remove stitches which may be caused by a sewn in wrong directions or stitches which should not be in that place or your sewing machine is skipping stitches, this is the sewing cutting tool to use. The hook of seam reaper quickly rips seams, open button holes, and remove stitches. Seam reaper should be used very carefully to prevent damage to the fabric. Have you seen a rotary cutter and mat? If not, here it is. The rotary cutter and mat. It is an adaptation of the giant rotary cutter used by the garment industry. It works like a pizza cutter and can be used by left and right handed sewers. This cutter is available in different sizes with different blades. When using a rotary cutter, work on a cutting mat to protect the blade and the cutting surface. Our next cutting tool is trimming scissors. Trimming scissors is 3 to 4 inches long. It is used for trimmings, clipping threads, and snipping slashes. Embroidery scissors. It has 4 to 5 inches finely tapered blades. Both points are sharp for use in working with fine details in delicate fabrics and in embroidery work. The buttonhole scissors. 
Why do you think this is called buttonhole scissors? Because this is intended for making buttonholes. Our third classification of tools based on their uses is marking tools. Marking tools are required for transferring pattern markings to garment fabric pieces and for making alterations on garments. Look at these tools in the picture. Don't be confused. These are not your ordinary coloring pencils. These pencils are used by dressmakers when marking on fabrics. Do you know what these are? Very good. These are chalk pencils or also known as the dressmaker's pencils. These are available in white and pastel shades. These chalk pencils are used to make fine lines on fabric. They have a racing brush at the end. Don't worry about the marks on the fabric because they can easily be removed by pressing. Are you familiar with liquid marking pen? This is a liquid marking pen. Liquid marking pens come in two types. There is one that washes out and one that just fades after 48 hours. Those that wash out should not be used on fabric that show watermarks. The marks should be removed before pressing the fabric. What marking tool is used in this picture? That is correct. This is a tailor's chalk. This is one of the most commonly used marking tool by sewers. It is available in different colors. This is essential as a marker for use on materials. Tailor's chalk is available in a range of colors and is removed by brushing. Look at this picture. What tool is used by the sewer? This is available in many colors. What is it? Very good. This is wax chalk. This is available in black, white, and others. This is used for woolen fabrics. Wax chalk leaves considerably thicker marks, but don't worry because wax can be removed by pressing. Is this familiar to you? That's right. It looks like a wheel to me. Sewing, there is a toe like this. Do you know what this is? Very good. This is a tracing wheel. Tracing wheel leaves marks like this on the fabric. It is a saw tooth with a sharp point. This tool is used to transfer pattern markings to the wrong side of the fabric. This is used with the dressmaker's carbon paper. How about this? Are you familiar with this? You are correct. This is what we call dressmaker's carbon paper. Dressmaker's carbon paper, also called dressmaker's tracing paper, is specially waxed carbon paper that transfers the tracing wheel's markings to the fabric. How should you choose the color of the tracing paper you will buy? The color of tracing paper should be chosen 
that is close to the color of the fabric. Different brands of tracing paper have different instructions. Therefore, the instructions for the particular brand that is purchased should be followed. Our last set of sewing tools are the pinning and sewing tools. Can you give example of pinning and sewing tools? When we say pinning, attach or fasten with a pin or pins in a specified position. Can you now give example of pinning tools? Let us find out in our next slides. So let's go. From the word pinning, what do you think is our first tool? You guessed it right. Very good. We have pins. From the given pictures, where do we use pins? That is correct. They hold pattern pieces in place. Anchor seam allowance as you saw. Fit fabric on the body and secure all sorts of squirmy trims, delicate sequins, and minuscule beads. Not only beginners use pins when fastening fabrics, patterns, etc. Even experts use pins. Remember that. What sewing tool is seen in the picture? That is correct. This is a pin cushion. What is the purpose of a pin cushion? A pin cushion holds a straight pins and needles while working to prevent accidents. Watch this very short video clip. What tool is used in the video? I know that you are very familiar with this tool. What is this? Very good. The hand needle. As you can see in the picture, hand needles come in different sizes. Sizes of 7 to 10 are for general hand sewing. Used in making temporary stitches and buttonholes. The size of the hand needle will depend on the size or thickness of the fabric you will use. This is one of the most important tool in sewing, especially in sewing using a sewing machine. What is it? Very good! This is the sewing machine needle. What can you say about the needles in the picture? Excellent observation! They come in different sizes. The common available sizes are 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, and 23. Sewing machine needles are graded according to diameter and length. The sizes of the sewing machine needles depend on the fabric weight and the fabric types. If you have clear vision, you will not need to use this tool. But if you have poor vision, then this tool is very useful for you. The Sewing Needle Threader It aids in pulling the thread to the needle. The wire will create bigger hole, so it will be easier for you to insert the thread in the wire. The needle threader is consists of two parts, the handle and the wire. 
The end of the wire that is away from the holder is folded. Place the folded wire of the needle threader through the eye of the sewing needle. Are you familiar with this tool? This is thimble. How important is this when sewing? A small hard pitted cup worn for protection on the finger that pushes the needle in sewing. Did you understand our lesson? Let us accomplish this task to test your understanding. This is called Semantic Webbing. And the title of the task is Where Do I Belong? Directions. Give the sewing tools for each set based on their uses. What are the measuring tools? There are seven measuring tools you should give inside the hoop. Great job! The measuring tools are tape measure, L square, hip curve, French curve, yardstick, ruler, and sewing gauge. Next, what are the eight cutting tools we discussed in our lesson? Put them in the hoops. Excellent job! Here are the cutting tools. Bent handle dressmaker shears, pinking shears, rotary cutter and mat, Embroidery scissors, buttonhole scissors, trimming scissors, seam ripper, and thread clippers. How about the marking tools? Do you still remember the six marking tools used in sewing? Try this. Bravo! The marking tools are... Chalk pencils or dressmaker's pencil, liquid marking pen, tailor's chalk, wax chalk, dressmaker's carbon paper, and tracing wheel. And the last group or classification of tools based on their uses is the pinning and sewing tools. What are these tools? Very clever, guys! The answers are hand needles, pins, sewing needle threader, thimble, and pin cushion. Since you were able to give the sewing tools and classify them according to their uses, let us try to answer these questions. As a member of the family confined at home due to COVID pandemic, why is it important to know the different sewing tools? Since you were able to give the sewing tools and classify them according to their uses, let us try to answer these questions. Why and how can you maintain and secure these sewing tools? I am very glad for your answers. It looks like you learned a lot from our lesson. So, let us move on to this self-check. Directions. Read and analyze the following questions. Choose only the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on a piece of paper. Did you understand the directions? So if yes, let's start. You have five minutes to answer the five questions. Number one, what sewing tool is a small, hard pitted cup worn for protection on the finger that pushes the needle in sewing? Letter A, hand needle. Letter B, Pin cushion, letter C, safety pin, 
and letter D, thimble. What is the answer? Number two. What do you call this tracing paper that is specially waxed carbon paper that transfers the tracing wheels markings on the fabric? Is it letter A, dressmaker's carbon paper? Letter B, is it pencil marker? Letter C, Taylor's chalk or letter D, wax chalk? What is the answer? Number three. Which of the following is not a measuring tool? What is the answer? Number four. In which set of tools do thread clippers, seam ripper, embroidery scissors, and pinking shears belong? Letter A, cutting tools. Letter B, marking tools. Letter C, measuring tools. Or letter D, pinning and sewing tools. What is the answer? Our last question for number five. How are the sewing tools classified? Letter A, according to their uses. Letter B, according to their sizes and shapes. Letter C, according to the materials where the tools are made of. And letter D, according to the current cost of the sewing tools in the market. What is the answer? Time's up. Let us now find if your answers are correct. Number one, the answer is D. Number two, A. Number three. D. Number four, A. And the last number, five. Letter A. For your last task, write what you understood and realized as a student or as a member of the family in this lesson. Write your reflections on the activity sheet I gave you. It's time to say goodbye. This is your teacher, Mrs. Arlene A. Valenzuela.